means the transaction what happen first time it will be transaction will be action code will be sales transaction so whenever the next time the return happen that time the transaction will happen what happen the return sales they have to minus they have to do the minus otherwise the sales will be amount will be increased for their account they have to remove the means they have to remove that amount whatever the amount is the return by amount they have to remove right so one more transaction will generate here so that will be return transaction record as a return action code first time will be sales second will be return or exchange product will be exchanged maybe you paid some other amount extra amount and then you taken the another uh, another product you exchanged this one and they taken the new product which or the uh, amount is there difference that amount you already paid so that will be exchanged amount something like that it will come clear guys so these are the textual attributes or flags or random codes <coughs> okay but these are the it won't be available in the any of the dimension table this kind of information it, we are not storing into the any of the dimension tables any of the dimension table we are not going to store but this, this is a not the foreign keys this is the not the numerical data we can't do aggregation these kind of measures clear guys so these kind of attributes we call as a junk dimension this kind of attributes we call as a junk dimensions that they are going to store into the fact table there is no unrelated to the dimension tables either transactional codes okay or flags or text attributes are going to store into the fact table those we called as a junk dimension or dirty dimension see for example this take the action code guys here this is the amount is there this is the amount so number data this is action code so var card data okay you can see here this is a fact table one of the fact table so how they are going to calculate here the sales we are getting the data in the file format okay file format we are getting the txt format here data okay see for all the values sales quantity less than 0 then it will be the sales transaction means some quantity is happen transaction is generated means if you are taking the any transaction with the one one quantity or two quantity or three quantity then they treated as a normal transaction sales transaction for all the values or sales quantity greater than 0 means minus so means we are going to return the transaction right so we are going to return the transaction so if sales quantity then greater than 0 then it will be the return transaction means we are going to give the product it will be return so like that they are going to generate the one code column action code that is a, they, they treated as a this is a sales transaction or return transaction so this is a one column that is a junk dimension column junk attributes this is we can't do any aggregation just we are going to tell the the transaction will be tra sales transaction or return transaction but we are going to store into the sales table this one clear guys this is the amount amount local amount rpd some different different see these are the amount these are the amount so here will be keys are there approver employee key approver user key beginning date date is there business unit key business unit type code this also type code what type of code that was so this is a junk dimension there anything here no oh, start man send yeah see guys so they are taking the some codes here these are the junk dimension channel type code and then quantity is there units are there indicator this is a flag current indicator okay current indicator is nothing but the y they are given the by default they are given the y so these kind of things okay so we are going to store into the fact table so with the flags or random codes or textual attributes so those things will be called as a junk attributes or junk dimensions okay 
but this kind of information it won't be available any of the dimension tables so directly they are going to store into the fact table only clear guys so this is a one of the table in the real time table like that is there the table these are the columns so extended amount extended amount local exchange indicator so i just now i told exchange okay the exchange indicator of here key hr key something all those things are there item cost amount item cost local repeat item some all the, so many are there see guys how many columns are there for one amount, one ka one table these many columns they are capturing okay all the codes everything so like that it will be there in the real time guys clear i am going to explain one more time this one at the time of the etl validation as of now so i am going to explain the what is the junk dimension okay junk dimension is nothing but the the textual description of the data sorry stored into the any of the factor yeah collection of the random transactional codes or flags or text attributes that are unrelated to the any of the dimension table it is going to store into the fact table only okay it is going to store into the fact table so every transaction we are going to use keep on the same values for example your transaction either sales or return so these two values only keep on changing flag means yes or no there is no other new value it will come only that codes only keep on using here in the junk dimension but come to the degenerated dimension degenerated dimension. this also is going to store into the fact table okay but what is the difference between the junk dimension and degenerator means they are keep on using the same values the codes only we are going to use every transaction we are going to use the keep on same value is going to use but here always will be new value is going to generate in the fact table this is attribute only but it is going to generate the new value for example transaction id or order id you can take here for sales table for each transaction one transaction id is going to generate whenever you did the any transaction right transaction id this transaction id by default it's going to generate on the fly okay it's not deriving from any of the dimension table right so whenever you do the bill bill whenever you go to the billing counter the billing is completed then automatically one id will be generated the transaction id or billing id or order id whatever id is okay that id every time every billing every transaction is going to generate the new value right we are not using the existing ids again 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 every time we are going to generate the new values degenerate the every time it is going to regenerate that's why we call it as a degenerated dimension but this also is going to store into the fact table but this is uh, there is no related to the any of the dimension tables this also is a id only or uh, code only but this code will be always will be generated in the new value clear guys but here every time we are going to use the the whatever the fixed are there transaction codes or flag that we are keep on repeating the same values but here will be one value will can't use the second time the same value it will always it will generate the new value new attribute textual attribute that we can't able to sum this one clear guys these are the two one is the junk dimension one is the degenerated dimension these two dimensions are going to store into the fact table one are the transactional codes or flags or attributes here will be in data version the degenerate dimension is a dimension which is derived from the fact table doesn't have its own dimension table here also example line number means uh, business uh, billing number or line number transaction number like that is always is going to generate the new value clear guys any doubts here till now up to three three dimensions any doubts here up sir, to now sir can you give me example of degenerated dimensions eh? yeah the transaction numbers billing number uh, order id 
so always will be order will be whenever you go to flipkart whenever you place the order it will generate the new id id right so same id it won't generate to any other persons any other even if you order multiple times so all will be always it will going to generate the new order id only for your orders the same order it won't give other the same number correct or transaction id whenever you done the any mobile payment mobile postpaid payment or anything you can take example the transaction reference key transaction reference number it going to give okay so that will be the that will be the degenerated dimension only means always is going to generate the new value in a fact table the unique value is going to generate clear the these are the yes. examples order id bill, billing id transaction number a transaction id so these kind of things okay next one will be role playing dimension 